तो अभी जो आप देख रहे हैं दिस इज टीचर्स रूम जो भी आपके साइन बोर्ड है वो अपना लोकल लैंग्वेज में भी है और इसमें भी है तो यहाँ जितने भी टीचर्स हैं दे आर ऑल रिलेटेड टू योर एनाटॉमी मतलब अलग अलग एनाटॉमी के टीचर्स हैं देर आर फैकल्टी ऑफ अबाउट ट्वेंटी फाइव टू ट्वेंटी टीचर्स जिसमें इंडियंस भी हैं लोकल्स भी हैं जो आपको क्या कहते हैं अलग अलग ग्रुप्स को पढ़ाते हैं क्योंकि एक ग्रुप में देर आर ऑनली फिफ्टीन टू फोर्टीन स्टूडेंट्स इससे ज़्यादा स्टूडेंट्स भी वी डोंट एलाउ बिकॉज इफ देर आर ह्यूज नंबर ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सिक्स स्टूडेंट्स और थर्टी स्टूडेंट्स टीचर कोई नाम याद नहीं रहता है टीचर कोई समझ नहीं आता कि मुझे क्या पढ़ाना है क्या नहीं पढ़ाना है सो चलिए अब आपको हम दिखाते हैं कि टीचर्स का रूम गुड मॉर्निंग मैम हाउ यू सो दिस इज द टीचर रूम का वर्ष नहीं आशीष मैम दिस इज मैम जना एंड आप टीचर कुछ भी हो यू कैन यू कैन गेट इट बैक और आपको पंद्रह से बीस मिनट में सारा क्या कहते हैं सोल्व करके दे देंगे तो यहाँ डॉक्यूमेंटेशन होता है आपका यहाँ आपका एवरी थिंग एवरी थिंग एंड यू Believe me, the teachers and the local people are so good. They will help you at each and every step. Now, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. आपको समझा भी सकते हैं आपको प्रैक्टिकल दिखा भी सकते हैं तो लेट्स गो इन हमने इनको कुछ नहीं बोला है कि वी आर कमिंग ऑन फ्लेक्सी Sir, how are you? Um, everything good, sir? Yeah, good. So, this is our Indian teacher who is going to, uh, you know, uh, who, who is teaching the students. So, yeah, our Indian students, so you can check it out. How are you, sir? Nice. So, uh, how is your experience with the Indian teacher? Ah, you with the Indian students. Sorry. Indian students now only in this study. Okay, this is true. Ah, uh, because they are screaming. Ah, you were screaming. That is true. Yeah, that is. Ah, I said you last week. Uh, okay. This week we have a viva mm -hmm. and the submission of the practical letter go. Okay. So only one or two candidate following. Okay. The rest of them are not at all following. Now I'm screaming. Ah, uh, that's good. That's good. So how are the students uh, right now? Uh, uh, What what are the plus points in this university, uh, and uh, how students are able to understand the subjects and all the things? So we have in our academy department. So we have three D animation chamber. It is in the main building. Okay. So for demonstration purpose, we can use that three D animation. Okay. For dissection and uh, uh, explanation of all systems. Okay. But here there is a laboratory is there. Okay. It's only visual organ. Okay. So they put it in a different container. Okay. So when we need, we can bring the student to the laboratory. I can explain all uh, uh, artworks. Okay. Uh, they can touch it. They can see it. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, right? Yeah. So okay. this is now our study what is going now. Okay. So I have an already completed overall skeletal system. Okay. And after that, there is a completed the. Uh -huh. uh, कंप्लीटेशन ओके सो विध यू नो परमिशन कैन बी Have a seat there and see 
how they how how uh, you teach them and what they how they answer. Is it possible to have a seat here for five minutes? Yeah, can I can? Yeah, uh, thank you. Asha, can you talk to me? Again, I wish you all very good morning. What are you doing? Okay, now I'm going to review. This is the review class of this scatter system, right? So already you people know there is a <coughs> skeleton is divided into two parts. There is a neural brain and then muscle brain, right? So uh, when we talk about the skull, right? So it can be done with two. There is a uh, Skull sandwich two is there is external and internal, right? External means there is there is different part. So when we study the skull, upper part that is called as barma verticalis. So whereas when we the study the skull, in the lateral aspect that is called as norma lateralis. Okay. So when we study the skull, about the frontal front part that is norma frontalis. Whereas the lateralis part that is called as norma basalis. But inside. In say when we study the skull, the inner aspect that is called as norma interna inside the skull. Okay. So what are the bones takes parts bit in the formation of vertebrae? I already already explained in the class, right? So there is a frontal bone and the two parietal bone, occipital bone, and temporal bone, and then what is the one more bone? Huh? Occipital. Occipital behind. Occipital right? The spinal right? Okay. So then coming to Uh, the switch head. So the the bone there is parietal bone, two parietal bone. There is a switch head, right? The switch head between the one parietal and two parietal, both right side left side. That is called as right side switch head. Huh? Coronal switch head, right? This is the junction between the two two parietal bone. That is called as sagittal switch head. Whereas the junction between the two parietal, one occipital bone. That is called as Lambda suture, okay. But when we consider the pubertal skull, pubertal skull, right? So newborn baby. So there is a two important bony landmarks. One is called as different post. There is called as big mark, right? Because um, before birth, sorry, after birth, right? There is no fusion of frontal as well as in the parietal part. So there is a membrane covering area that is called as break mark, or it is called as anterior pubertal. So there is no bone. There is only the covering of the Grain. So directly after the grain, there is a brain. Okay. So there are another one. A uh, important one in the posterior aspect, there is a lambda. But among hundred uh, pubes, right, one or two uh, pubes um, getting the lambda because um, uh, during uh, sorry after birth, right, there is a few channels. So the lambda we may not appreciate all the pubes skull except one or two. Okay. So then after that, when we talk about the lateral aspect, there are two important. Only landmarks that is called as stereon, right? Stereon, and behind there is a a stereon. So stereon, what is a stereon? It is a clinical aspect, clinical importance. Because so when we talk about uh, talk about inside, there is a depression which is causing the vertebral arteries, sorry, cerebral arteries, cerebral arteries directly. So so when the patient got an accident, any injury, right? It is directly affect this. Cerebral arteries leading the heavy bleeding, so leading to cerebral hemorrhage. So this is the important clinical landmark. That is called as stereo. Okay. So here there is stereo. So so the junction between the temporal and the frontal and occipital bone. That is called as stereo. Whereas the yes stereo. Uh, see here in the behind the posterior aspect there is a uh, junction between this uh, temporal, occipital and the parietal bone. Both right side and then left side. Okay, so if we talk about the normal frontal is right, this is the frontal bone. So morning, did you attend my class? Yes, sir. Normal frontal is right. This is the superior ciliary arch. Both right side, left side. So just there is a depression. Then about that there is a bony eminence that is called as clavella. So this is called as clavella. Okay. So here you may appreciate the two. Two nasal bones. So the two nasal bones connected together. That is called as internasal suture. So internasal suture means there is a connection between the two nasal bones. Okay, just below that there is a lacrimal bone. Lacrimal bone. This is the uh, nasal septum. We may appreciate the nasium, right? There is a bony eminence in front of the nasal septum. That is called as nasium, right? Okay. Here there is a orbital cavity. Orbital cavity. This is the maxilla. This is the zygomatic bone, right? Here you may appreciate there is a tubercle that is called as big non tubercle, big non tubercle. Okay. Then after that, what are the other complex parts? Wait, right? The maxilla, both right side, left side, and mandible. Okay. 
this is regarding the normal front axis so already we talk about normal left axis and the normal vertical axis then coming to the normal oscillating axis normal axis when we study the skull in the posterior aspect that is called as normal oscillating axis okay so here there is a um two parallel bond on oscillating bond takes form in the formation of normal oscillating axis okay oscillating axis then coming to the uh, vertebral part right so how many vertebras there there are the 33 vertebras 33 vertebras among 33 26 vertebras are slightly immobile the rest of two vertebra is fused together so that is called as sacral vertebra sacral here we can associate the sacral vertebra so see so this is the sacrum right this is the female sacrum so can you differentiate the male sacrum and female sacrum so because the rib is male sacrum is somewhat narrower somewhat narrower so the anterior posterior diameter is somewhat less than that of the male sacrum so this is female sacrum is a curved nature okay see here so there are the five bones fused together this is the bridge connection between the each one each one right so when we talk about the posterior aspect there is a um this intermediate is a median crest then this is a two lateral crest right so this is called as sacral hiatus sacral hiatus then just below the fourth that is called as sacral palmar sacral palmar so below the fourth coccyx so there are the four fused bones coccyx is looks like a single bone okay but this is the clinical importance why because when the person undergo in the lower lower surgery in the lower limb right so they can give anesthesia here the anesthetic choose this area we give injection sir and local anesthetic is here uh, sorry not a local anesthetic there is anesthesia general anesthesia here so uh, this is called as caudal epidural block caudal epidural block so the person uh, when undergo in the lower limb surgery right they can feel what they doing right so uh, this is important one but why giving the anesthesia so the anesthesia should consider the shape of the hiatus that is important there are different shape some of the person getting a um, <coughs> double shape inverted positions right so by observing the spine of the crest they can identify so they are giving uh, then they will give the anesthesia to the uh, this area right then after that so this is the right already discussed there is a skull right skull or skull area so there is a cavity that is it's accommodated to the brain right skull cavity then another cavity there is a spinal cavity which accommodated to the spinal column right so the spinal column which is actually from the brain to the till second sacral vertebra right so in the lowest part of the spinal column uh, it looks like a horse tail that is called as cauda equina or phylum terminal phylum terminal or this called as cauda equina right so up to the second sacral vertebra okay so <coughs> see here so already he said there is a 33 vertebra right so among 33 the first is seven cervical the first vertebra you call it as yeah there are total seven cervical vertebra but first one is called as atlas vertebra it support the lobe of the head looks like right so that is there is also called as ring vertebra then second vertebra we call it as axis right so in the axis vertebra there is a presence of dens presence of dens in the opposite here dens already shown you right so what are the main use right the dens which act as a lever then only you can turn the head both right side and the left side are you clear are you able to follow me or not okay then another difference so there is a presence of the transverse process and the spinous process okay but only the typical feature what i said already there is a presence of foramen that is called as foramen transverse atrium foramen transverse atrium so which allows the vertebral artery to the brain which supply to the uh, i think the vertebral artery which is uh, combined with the sacral glis so sacral glis is nothing but the fusion uh, which gives the blood supply to the over brain oral brain right so remember the cervical vertebra has foramen transverse atrium but no uh, no other vertebra has a foramen transverse atrium it is a key point to identify the uh, whether it belongs to cervical vertebra or thoracic or lumbar okay well then coming to the another future another important key future there is a presence of bifid spinal see here so there is a bifid spine so see there is a bifid spine bifid spine then uh, the thoracic vertebra there is no bifid spine so there is a long spinous process this is a long spinous process and so 
transfer process okay so what are the difference so when we talk about the body of the vertebra there is a heart shape thoracic vertebra there are the total thoracic vertebra there is a heart shape okay but when we talk about the uh, not a sacral lumbar vertebra okay lumbar vertebra there is a broader so this body of the vertebra is a broader shape broader shape but the spinous process somewhat lesser than that the thoracic vertebra okay but one more clinical important you should consider right so the spine the space between the l3 and l4 the space between the l3 and the l4 right so it is important because they are giving the anesthesia during surgery right they are choosing the the space between junction between the l3 spine l3 and l4 spine then one more thing so when the patients having a problem in the right that is so uh, they suffering in the meningitis the meningitis due to gonococcal meningococcal either tuberculosis or pyogenic there are different varieties meningitis there is inflammation right but if they want to clarify whether the patients have tuberculosis meningitis or bacterial some other bacterial meningitis or viral meningitis right they can collect the cerebral spinal fluid so when they can they cannot collect the directly from the brain so they should collect from the area the space between the l3 and the l4 right so after that they should uh, hand over the sample to laboratory section right they can find they can find so the whether the patient is having a pyogenic so they, after doing the culture and sensitivity they can find what kind of bacteria which causes the meningitis right what kind of virus which causes the meningitis but tuberculosis meningitis right so if you do you know tuberculosis meningitis causes by mycobacterium tuberculosis right tuberculosis okay one blue there is a signal to differentiate whether it is a uh, meningitis is a tuberculosis or some other varieties right that is uh, when we keep the uh, cs of the after collection in the refrigerator for about 24 hours right so after 24 hours if you observe that cough the pyoglum you know cough the spider the pyoglum that will get tuberculosis meningitis right that will get tuberculosis meningitis okay suppose uh, if the technician find the presence of urinated abscess in the cs of plate in the second tube not in the first tube second tube right so that will get cerebral hemorrhage presence of urinated not the entire abscess not a normal abscess right normal abscess is present we may consider as normal because there is a function there comes in the skin right uh, fascia the, the deep fascia right after the muscle then they find out the space right so if it is presence of normal abc we may consider as a normal but if it is a presence of the generated abc is in the cases for uh, specific after the microscopic view right then we get cerebral hemorrhage okay then coming to the sacral this is the sacral vertebra okay so,